in opposition to this amendment, um, and I'd like to associate myself with the comments of Dr. Harris as well. Um, I also want to make a point of clarification. There is absolutely nothing in this bill that prevents mifeprestone from being dispensed under the care and supervision of a practitioner for non-elective abortion purposes. But by completely re removing the presence of a medical provider, you do open the door to those serious health risks to women. And so to my colleague's point about providers, look, I agree. There are OBGYN healthcare deserts in my district too. But what happens if there's a complication for these women and girls? Um, they won't have that access to the provider. Where will they get that care when they face those complications? So we should be working together in a bipartisan way to increase access to providers in rural America. And that is something that we have prioritized across the aisle, whether it's midwives or OBGYNs, to make sure that those doctors are available. But this poses serious health threats to women and girls in rural America who may be miles away from an emergency room to get that care. So removing in-person dispensing requirements is not about helping women. It's about profits for Planned Parenthood and for the abortion industry. So abortion is never safe for the unborn child. And this is a blatant disregard for uh, the safety of the mother as well. So I, again, rise in opposition to the amendment and I urge my colleagues to vote now. I yield back.